Meiti Ala claims Benue as ancestral home, retrieves apology to Governor Otong. Meiti Ala Cattle Breeders Association, Mark Burn, has said Benue State remains its ancestral home, even though Governor Samuel Otong has chased them away. Um, this is a very sad thing where you find people from other regions claiming ownership of someone else's ancestral home is like a slap to the face of the indigents of that area that village that town is like someone coming into your father's home and saying that this your father's home belongs to them as you all know that the middle belt of nigeria you mostly find christians benue is more like a christian state while if you go to the upper upper northern part of nigeria you'll find more muslims and since there is always this religion bigotry every time and of course you know there's always tribal issues and sentiments every time you will always find two different regions two different tribes culture always having issues and fighting each other over um setting very simple things that should be resolved with the rule of law but unfortunately that is not so in nigeria the group said it would not in any way apologize to the governor saying rather we demand apology for sending us out of our ancestral home in benue state i wouldn't know if there is any other history if you are probably an historian and you understand the story of benue state how benue state is now an ancestral home to Ausa fulanese how these things are you know the the tribes are domiciled or situated in all of these regions i want to know much about it but what i know is that we we have um, Aousas in the northern part of nigeria and we have fulanis in the northern part of nigeria such as adamawa state you find fulanis there um you go to castina where Buhari is from you find Aousa and probably some fulanis we have them all littered in all the northern part of nigeria and it's not a new thing that there have been issues with Aousa Fulanese and farmers, even small scale farmers, people that just plant some few crops to feed themselves. You find these cattle going on these people's farm, destroying all their farm products, eating off their farm products. Yet the federal government has decided not to speak about this. The federal government kept quiet about this and claimed that Aousa Fulanese do not carry weapons, but they have only sticks. And one would wonder who are then the Earthmen that killed a lot of people in Benue State. We are not going to say that these people in Benue State just fell on the floor and they died and they started bleeding. We saw the carnage. We saw how these people were attacked and how they were killed. It's a shame that a lot of people are not speaking about this. In fact, recently, one governor from the eastern part of Nigeria, Boy State, and one other one decided to open their doors for Fulani settlers. It's a shame that this is happening. I think this man from Ebony State probably has been promised that seat, that presidential seat to come 2023. It's a shame. I, I wasn't expecting um, him to have done this, but then these are one of the things we are talking about. Now, the southwestern part of Nigeria are still kind of holding themselves strong. They are holding themselves strong against this cattle um, herdsmen, not because you don't find them there. Yes, there are a lot of cattle herdsmen around there, but then we are still seeing some form of resistance from all of this uh, from the people around that place and not the same way we are i'm not i'm not hearing that unequivocal i'm not hearing that loud noise voice from the people from the southeastern part of nigeria i'm not seeing their governors actually doing much david Weze umai is popularly known as david umai is the governor of a state and he has opened his door to these catalyst men he has allowed them to settle down probably give them a piece of land i wouldn't know um, the discussion he had um, with them it's a shame that this is happening in nigeria so mark ban spokesperson garus gololo spoke with the nation newspaper on monday about the apology tendered by another fulani group called meyeti ala kauta ore um, this is a social economic group and they are different from magban um i think they are different from magban yes they are somehow i don't know if it's a different i think it's a, it's a different spokesperson 
or whatever it is, but they have the same ideology anyway. So we have the Meiti Ala Katu Breeders Association, Magdan, and we have the Meiti Ala Kauteure. So that's a different one, M A K H. That's a different one. And that other group apologized to Governor Otom over the killings in the state by Earth's men. It is, it, 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 you don't have to wait for this to get to your own door for your family members to be part of the people that got killed. These are lives that have been wasted in Benue State and many other places. In fact, till date, the people from that state, some of them are unable to return back to their place because they will be raped, they will be killed. And you know what it is? There are several videos that have been posted of this same Awusa Fulani men killing all over Nigeria, kidnapping all over Nigeria. So, Gololo, a former aide to Governor Otom, on Fulani matters claimed that the Fulani group that tendered apology to Governor Tom had no member in Benue State as the group was based in Jos Plateau State. And Jos Plateau, these two places I've just mentioned, you'll find more Christians there. He dismissed the apology as a spoke screen which has no effect on the demand and position of Magban. It is reported that Meiti Ala Kautel had apologized to Samuel or Tom and the entire state over the killing and pledged to ensure peaceful coexistence between herdsmen and farmers moving forward. National Secretary of the Association, Saleh Al-Hazan, made the apology during a peace initiative brokered by the chairman of Air Peace, Alain Unyema, on Saturday. Al-Hazan described Governor Tom as a peace-loving man who stood firmly for the emancipation of his people. He also assured that members of the group would embrace the peace initiative put forward by the governor. So, guys, this is just so clear and it's so sad that we live in an administration that is presently closing its eyes and there are a lot of bloodshed everywhere. How I hope and I wish that Buhari would wake up to the duties since he has forced himself there and he's not getting out of that post. So for the next couple of years coming, I hope that Buhari would do the right thing. Right now, the story is that they are trying to force this same settlement on all regions in Nigeria, it's trying to create a space for them all over Nigeria or probably um, places where governors were set so that they will limit this Fulani earthsmen and farmers clash. I wouldn't know why people would take their private businesses to all the doorsteps of Nigeria because Nigeria is a place for everyone to move around. Yes, we understand that but then there are rules and regulations. I don't think I have the ability or the right to just jump in into Asoro either by flying into that place or by just trying to walk in there because um, Aso Rock is in Nigeria and I have the right to move around. It's not possible. So it means that there are certain places that people cannot get into, such as educational facilities, such as people's compound, people's farm, and certain parts of uh, the region in certain states and villages and town. But unfortunately, these guys, they just go everywhere to do whatever they want to do. So guys, that's what it is. I believe they have their master, the king of the north, um, the man they call Buhari, I think that's the reason why they are actually doing this since the man also love cattles and is also I think his gene his blood is you know kind of connected with cattle husbandry and all of that so guys that is what it is it's a shame that this is happening may I remind you guys if you have not done so to kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red notification icon bell please do tap on it so you'll be notified whenever videos are uploaded thanks for stopping by <music>